how you prep sleep and eating before track time. Okay, that's pretty simple. Sleep is super important. I get a good night's sleep, and also the first few days before, be sure that you just eat well. Uh, you know, just eat well, just eat good food. Uh, cut out sugars and breads, uh, like white breads, uh, you know, just because I don't like them, and I, I think they, you know, they don't make you think very well. And absolutely, positively, no alcohol. Uh, not even a little bit. Uh, and I'll tell you the story behind that. When we're racing on my teams, uh, there's no, there's no drinking or beer until Sunday night. Uh, after everything's done, you know, because that, you know, that, that professional racing, it's a job. You know, you don't drink on the job in, in your job, and I don't expect my guys to drink on their job. But Sunday night, all bets are off, you know, what, whatever. But here's the thing. I, I'll go back. I can't remember how many years ago this was, but it was, gosh, I, I was, it doesn't matter, a long, long time ago. Uh, we were going to Road America for a track day, and I had some business to do uh, just north of Chicago. So I left early, and I did my business, and I was going to meet the crew up at, at, at uh, Elkhart Lake uh, in the evening. Well, you know, I, I got there about the time we were supposed to show up, but, you know, they were running late. So, you know, unfortunately, I mean, I, I, was, I run the, the shop for Skip Barber at Road America for a full season. I lived in Sheboygan Falls, which is right next to us. I mean, I knew, pretty much I knew everybody in Elkhart Lake. Uh, and, you know, ran into some of my friends at Seekins. If you've ever been to Seekins, it's, it's magical. And I just thought, oh, I just had one beer. One beer led to two. So I had a couple beers. And I thought, well, that's not too bad. The next day, I drove like crap. I mean, I just missing apexes. I just was sloppy. Uh, you know, so I ate, ate really well that night, got to bed early, got a good night's sleep. And the next morning, I was right on target again. So it doesn't take much alcohol the night before to, you know, kind of impact how you drive the next day. Don't know what the science is behind that, but that's just my experience. So eat well, get a lot of sleep. Uh, if, you know, if you're traveling a long ways to a track, uh, try to get to bed early. I mean, that's sleep is the most important thing. You need your body to be rested because you're going to work the hell out of your brain and body the next day. So that's, that's, how, that's how I do it and how I recommend you do it.